uh, I thought I'd just make this video just to explain Sticky um, just a little bit more. So there are three different instances in which you can use Sticky on Square Kicker. And those are, there's a Sticky Block tool, there's a Sticky Section tool, and there's a Sticky Split um, tool as well. So Sticky is one of those things that um, is actually really simple to code, but actually what makes it super difficult is actually understanding how it's working. So I'll just run you through the three different instances, but if well, if we are hosting a webinar next week um, that you can join and we're actually going to break these down a little bit more and actually have a full tutorial on how Sticky works. So um, first thing to do is I've, I've currently used, I believe it's on this section here, I've used the event section called sticky split right and I've included two sections that are below this sticky so I've actually made it right but you can make it left as well and what that does is it it makes a, a container it wraps multiple sections in this case three so the first one plus the two below it sticky so it makes the sticky this section becomes sticky to the top and it stays sticky and then these sections to the right continue to scroll and it continues to scroll until it finishes scrolling um, and then once the parent or the, the siblings around it finish scrolling then it lifts off so what sticky is doing it says this element on the left here keep this sticky until everything else inside of its parents so it's siblings if you will so we're talking about children and parents and siblings it's quite interesting when you look at code so all the siblings are next to it finish scrolling so if these one two three blocks are actually all siblings inside of a parent which is a sticky container um, this will become sticky until the rest of the children finish scrolling so we got the um, first child or parent scrolling and the next one and once it finishes scrolling it lifts off and that's how sticky works and so sticky split actually wraps these three sections together makes just this one sticky here the other instance is a sticky section so that is um, if you went into um, this block here and you go sticky section and you put top so this is going to say this section is going to become sticky at the top of its parent and what is the parent well the entire container which is the um, article I think it's called or the main body of the website so because everything in the website I'm um, sorry for all these sections rather are in the website together it will become sticky until it reaches the top and it will stay sticky until it reaches the end of the scrolling section which is here so this is the end like literally is the end of that body and then we get into the footer so if I could um, do something different here if I use sticky and it stick is gonna become sticky to the bottom. That means above, it's gonna stay sticky all the way at the bottom until which is the end of the parent. So it's gonna become sticky in the bottom, sticky in the bottom until I finish scrolling the parent and then it's going to finish scrolling because now I'm sticky to the bottom of where it was and it's gonna lift off. So that's how sticky bottom works. Um, you can do some interesting things with sticky top if you will as well. So you can use sticky um, top and that's gonna become sticky to the top again but watch what happens if I change the layer now of this block so if I go to uh, the layout tool and I go to visibility sorry one so this is gonna stay sticky but instead of scrolling away it's gonna stay on top and now the stuff below it is gonna scroll underneath because this section as he said is always gonna stay sticky I'll just make this smaller so you can see it cool so now this section stays sticky all the time um, stays on top. However, until I get to the, the bottom of this body, obviously it's I can't scroll anymore, but if I actually were to look and add a section, sorry, I want to add a section of my footer here. Let's just add a large section somewhere. Um, footer tools. Let's go with this one. And let's make this height really big just so we can get the difference here. So that says sticky, 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 sticky. But once we get to the bottom of the footer, it will actually lift off because now we've we finished scrolling to the parent which is the entire container wrapper. So that's how sticky sections work. And so you can kind of see there's some really fun and different things you can do with it, especially if you start playing around with the section width now, because now with the section width, um, you, know, you can kind of like, this section is sticky in the top left corner because there's nothing here. There's a big void here now. So now I've got this other thing sticky top here, or I can put um, advanced section and do sticky bottom. So now, but I have to bring my layer up again. There you go. So now this thing is sort of sticky on the bottom of the website until it comes down. So as you can see, you can have a lot of fun with sticky, but it's understanding the principles of how sticky works is a little bit confusing to do. Um, but that's why I just encourage people just to kind of play with it and just see what it does 
And um, yeah, so we will be running a bit more of a tutorial and a webinar next week on these kind of things. The last thing I'll bring up is sticky sections. So at the moment, if I use the split sections and I go 50% here, and then I'll take the next one. We'll make this one 50% as well. Cool. So now I've got two sections side by side because this is 50% and this is 50%. So yeah, so you can actually go into here um, earlier before I lose my train of thought here. So sticky section, make this sticky to the top. And that's not sticky split. It's actually sticky on a section in a split section side by side section. So that, there's, there's a lot of sticky in sections. So now when I scroll the let's scroll down, this stick this section on the right here becomes sticky. Um, and what happens here is because this section's not moving, it's becoming sticky, but this one keeps scrolling. So it's not in a wrapper that's becoming sticky to its parent. It's just physically sticky how the other section was sticky. So let's just stay sticky where it is the whole time. But I've noticed as well, when I get to the bottom of its parent or its siblings, it scrolls away. And that's why it's scrolling away there. Otherwise, it'll just continue to stay sticky. Um, the other thing, the last thing I'll mention is how sticky blocks work. So the same thing works for sticky blocks, but it's on a section. I'll make this full percent with here. So if I open up this site here and make it large and in charge, and I want to open up a square kicker tool and go to block, sorry, advanced and sticky blocks this time, and I go sticky to the top. So this is saying it's gonna stay sticky in the middle, but if I scroll, well, nothing happens. And the reason that is because inside of Squarespace, they have rows and columns. So right now, this block is inside a column, and it's also inside a row. So it's saying stay sticky in a position. Where should I stay sticky? Well, I'm gonna say sticky 50 viewport height, so that's the middle of this section, or middle of the screen and it's gonna stay sticky until the rest of its siblings or in the parent are finished scrolling. But the reason it never sticks is because there's nothing left in the parent for it to scroll, so it's done scrolling, so it never actually stays sticky. But if I were to add something else in its siblings, easiest way to see is it's a spacer block. And if I pull this down, and I pull this down, it's looking funny already, as you can see. So now when it gets to the center, of the screen, it's saying sticky. That's because of a spacer block that's still scrolling up. And it will stay sticky until it's finished. Watch what happens when it gets to the bottom of its parent. It clicks and lifts off. So that's how sticky blocks work. And obviously I'm saying stay sticky in the middle of the screen, but the same thing applies if you go to sticky block and you choose 50%, sorry, 50 viewport height. So now it's gonna stay sticky when it reaches the top of the screen and it's gonna stay sticky there until the rest of its siblings or inside its parent finish scrolling. And once it does, it will lift off as well. So that's how sticky blocks work.